This next segment will be talking about preparation of my video files that I have downloaded from my camera. And because I have a dual monitor setup, it does make it a lot easier in importing the files into Windows Movie Maker because it's a drag and drop operation. Like I said earlier, I think I said I had two monitors. Right, left monitor has the Windows Explorer. The right monitor has Windows Movie Maker. And before starting this video, I selected the four files and I just dragged them over into my second monitor or Windows Movie Maker. And then I have all four files set up. And again, this is just a brief overview of how I do it as far as preparing the files, so just bear with me uh, as all of this is unscripted. The first thing I do is, again, like I said earlier, there are three portions to a flight. There's the takeoff, there's the in route, and then there's the descent and landing. So the first thing I do in my videos is get the files prepared for those three segments. And the first thing I do in this particular video, I had a part where in the beginning I was actually putting the camera on the glare shield. And obviously, I don't want that in the final product. So in the, in the beginning edge, I can edit out, if you notice on the bottom track where the cursor is, I'm editing out the beginning part where I put the camera on to the glare shield. So now that I've got that edited out, I can actually use the audio track as a visual aid where things begin and end. So at the bottom here, at the bottom track, I can see this is probably where my takeoff is. So what I do is, is I take the cursor there, there it is, and you see on the picture I'm on the runway, and ready, probably in the takeoff process. I split the video here. This becomes important later because my in route portion of my videos are time lapsed, and I can't have it in real time, so I actually have to split the video. So now I've got two segments. This is my takeoff segment. This will be my in route segment. And I'll just slide it over, looking at this audio track again, where I'm looking for the descent. So I'm actually going to zoom out a little, makes it a little easier to see. And I can see right down in here, this was my descent into Jackson, most likely, because the audio is a lot lower. So I'll just click there, and sure enough, that's exactly what it is, looking at the preview screen that's uh, coming into Jackson. So I will split the video here where my touch and go begins. This allows me to have the in route portion a complete separate entity from the takeoff and the arrival portion of the flight. So that's how I kind of prepare using the audio track as a visual cue to quickly go through the video and see what part is going to be in real time and then what part is actually going to be time lapsed. Is, it, I don't know if you can see real clear in the video, but uh, the entire span from left to right is about 37 minutes, and obviously nobody's going to sit there and watch a 37 minute flight. So the next step will be actually preparing and creating the video. So hopefully this will be enough for the first set of videos of how I do these videos for my flying. This is the segment where everything starts coming together. As in the previous video, what I did was I got the audio files ready, I got the video files ready for the final product, and in this Windows Explorer, what I'm showing are the seven files that I've created for the audio, in which I will just drag them over to Windows Movie Maker, drop them in there, they all import. So pretty much as discussed before, my video file is ready. And if you notice, I try to uh, put numbers in the order that I want the audio tracks to go and just makes it a lot easier for compilation and where they are in relationship to the video. I just literally just drag it down to the bottom where it says audio music. That gets my track in. Now, so that the ATC track is not drowned out by the engine noise, I just reduce the volume in the engine to about a number two. And as you can see right here, it uh, reduced the volume. 
and then if for some reason I need to adjust the volume on the ATC, and usually I do bump it up a little bit to enhance it just a little, that actually makes a nice little balance between the two of the engine noise and the ATC transmissions. So transitions, I just used fade, just drag that on top of the track of the subsequent, you know, before the fade and that'll add a fade transition between the two. For the in route portion, what I do is, since I want to time lapse it, I use video effects. I go to speed up, double, add this about three or four times to see how long it'll take, five times. And by doubling it up so many times, I can see now it's way short. It's compared to the uh, original video it's about a minute so I got one too many in take video effects out remove one of them and push OK and now this video is now this portion of the in route that's going to be time lapsed is about two minutes so then all I have to do is go back to my collections and put in my in route portion of the video audio and of course if it was properly prepared I would have had exactly in two minutes I'm just going to edit out the end of it so it kind of matches that would be my in route portion of the video and then I do need to mute in this case the engine noise because otherwise it comes out of the high pitch noise because of the time lapsing so again this portion the beginning the takeoff will have a, a lowered volume. The in route where I time lapsed it, I mute the engine, just keep the ATC track, bump that up just a little bit so that it's here. And I try to make the ends barely touch the edges. And then for the landing portion and the takeoff, again, I go back to the volume, reduce that to number two, and then and approach frequency clear for the ILS. I'm just using this as a demo. Bring this down to the bottom here, drag it down, and that would be my landing portion of the video. So that's pretty much how I create my videos from beginning to end. If it was music instead of ATC, I just put music and MP3 file in the audio portion. So hopefully this helps out somebody. Again, this is not a complete final product obviously because I got plenty at the end so hopefully this helps other people create their videos if there's any questions feel free to leave a comment on this video or email me thanks for watching